All right, I think we should be streaming now, hopefully. Yay. I think we are streaming, yep, stream health wow. is green, so whoever we'll thought you this would happen again, a live stream on Beefy Penguin 9. Who knew? There we are. Okay. Whoa. What so. is this madness? Nobody watching right now, but you know, that's okay. Let's just see, I just want to make sure we have the chat. Hey, Joel's Let's Plays. Hello. Whoa, two people already. MR that's Newton. Quite amazing. Oh, Tricker. Oh, three. Wow. Thanks like for coming in, guys. Yeah, we're just, uh, Josh and I today, or Beefy, uh, we were just going through and watching all the old uh, Beefy09 videos. So we thought, just for fun, why not live stream it as a, we just go through and watch them? Kind of, we were talking about them, chatting with them. So. Uh, as we were going through, so I thought, why not just you know set up the live stream and uh, let you guys in on it, and you guys can be a part of it too. So uh, yeah, this is just more great. of just a one-off, nothing that are you plan on doing long term, but you know just for fun, just going through, watching the videos, reliving the good and the bad. So, and the very cringy. So we actually started through a few of them already, so we're just gonna kind of continue yeah. where we left off on our own personal watching. Should start at the beginning so, of this actually. Yeah, it's, right well, now we're, we're just, at okay. The Three Little Islands, Club Penguin 101. So I think this was like the second episode. So, if I'm not mistaken. As always, anyone who remembers our old live streams, bear with us. Make sure tech is right. So, if it sounds too quiet, too loud, just let us in the comments and we'll adjust it. Uh, old Club Penguin intro. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Club Penguin 101. I'm your host. Things have changed a little bit. Today, we're going to talk about the Three Little Islands. <sighs> now, if you don't know, the three little islands are to the upper left of Club Penguin, according to the spy headquarters. You cannot see them on the map of Club Penguin, though. People speculate that these islands are not Rockhopper Island due to their proximity, that and that Rockhopper Island has sand, while these seem to be covered in snow. They are also not the brown purple island, as that is downer of Club Penguin, and these downer. are the upper left. <laughs> it's downer of Club Penguin. Think that these islands are the islands from Rockhopper's quest, which included Shipwreck Island, Dinosaur Island, and Swashbuckler Trading Post. But I have proven this idea wrong. Here's why. During Rockhopper's quest in 2012, after you had completed exploring the islands, Rockhopper gave you a map so you could go explore the islands anytime you wanted. If you looked at the map he gave you, you could see that the islands are nowhere near the place where the three little islands are. Henceforth, those islands you explore are like a Mickey not Mouse. <laughs> Club Penguin could do a lot with these islands, though. Maybe Herbert would go to them and use them as a secret base, and then you need to stop them. Mm. Or maybe Club Penguin would have a party where you explore the islands and find a new kind of couple. So Wait, is this just me, or is this beginning to sound a lot like Club Penguin's fan fiction? <laughs> the bottom line is that the Club Penguin team could do a lot with these islands, but for now, they'll have to remain a mystery. Oh, such poetry. Well, that's the time we have today. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the And if you have an idea for another episode, please leave it in the comments below. You can also check out my. Wow, this one got 6,000 views. I like to, sometimes I like to check the comments because. You see them as they come in, but obviously then you don't quite remember, and some just miss you. He sort of was trying to get to land, but when he saw it was cold, he tried to swim back, and his island, his island snapped in three pieces when he tried to go away. Interesting. Play Toontown rewritten. <laughs> Toontown rewritten. I replay hey everyone, Toontown. I have Batman Junior Gaming. Spooked CP. I'm playing Club Penguin rewritten right now. Nice. Am I in college? No. I'm a junior in high school, so... I'm in college, I'm getting there. Yeah, he's in college. Okay, let's see. Here, I'll just click on the second, actually. Get back. So, yeah, we're just going through video yeah, by video. We should just, like, keep this hey, page open. we're like, live. Like, whenever you click on a video, like, oh, double yeah. clicks, and then you can do, like, open in a new tab. That's a good idea. Let's see if I can get out of this quick. Uh, here we go. Are you with me? Oh, we're, not <laughs> <laughs> we're live right now. Who knew? Well, it's nine watching. Listen. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah, it's just kind of re reliving Beef Penguin 9 as the stream is called. There's some pretty good <laughs> stuff in here. Yeah. just been so long since I've seen any of these videos. Just like, 
So it's just interesting going back to them. Because you still like remember them, but kind of actually getting a full picture is something different. Here's all the really old videos, so. Where do we leave off? Uh, top five oh, that, mini games. Top five mini games in Club Pain. Let's check that out. These thumbnails, though, I really want to change. Ooh, it's an ad. Oh. We just skip this there. I'm going to check the slash on my phone to see if it's... Sounds good. good. <laughs> see how it's coming in. Oh, boy. Top of John's the Black Friday. Oh, hi there. I'm Leafy Pink. I'm just playing some mini games like Club Penguin. Come to think of it, what are the best mini games in Club Penguin? Well, you'll find out in my top five favorite minigames in Club Penguin. With that said, let's get started. Number five. Okay, there's some weird echo thing. I remember it was impossible to play these because we had we were recording on computer screen and it was just so glitchy and slow. Yes, not a PC. You have to make sure you turn it to turn it off or else it'll crash. Like this. I like this game because it was easy to play and there's a wide selection of tricks you can do to earn points. I like to see all the animations that happen while you did the tricks, too. I thought they could be funny at times. Number 4. Dance Contest. In this game, you choose a song to dance to and the difficulty. As the song plays, arrows come up to show you which keyboard keys you should press. If you hit the keyboard key at the same time the arrow is in the outline, you'll get more points. The farther away the arrow is, the lesser amount of points. The video's not lagging at all, it's just how the original video, or the live stream's not lagging, that's just how the video was. But then, it's something more difficult, which I liked. I also liked the songs that played. I thought they were catchy. This is also a minigame that you can play with other people from around the world, which I thought was pretty cool. Number 3. A little transition. Jetpack Adventure. In this That's game, like you have to get from game. point A to I don't point B while dodging obstacles. Actually, I don't know if I ever While you're going along, though, you have to get like fuel cans so you don't run out of fuel. Yeah. I like this game because I felt like I could explore the level and maybe find a few little secrets. Hey, Super Mario Ryan. I like the sense of exploration. No, we're not back for right now. I'm just kind of reliving it. it. Just, we were watching so some videos, and so we thought, why not share yeah, it with, with you guys? Just do it live. It's probably just like a one-time thing. Yeah. Don't expect it for fun. Puffle Launcher. In this game, you have to get a puffle from point A to point B. You do this by shooting it out of cannons. You can also collect puffalo. Listen to how the audio sounds with uh, playing the video and then also us talking over it. I like this game because it added in new mechanics every once in a while that were fun to play with. I also like the challenge of trying to collect every puffalo in each level. The game also had many levels, so the fun lasted for a long time. Number one. This is a great Aqua writing. Grabber. Yeah. <laughs> In this game, you are in a submarine exploring the water. The ever able to. The game gives you missions, such as collecting the treasure or doing the time trial. One thing they were ever able to really get was the treasure. I like the full screen. It was always this is like a full screen. I also really like that the game gives you missions to do, so it wasn't always the same thing over and over. I also like that you can explore two totally different waters at the same time. Number one. 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 Number one.
The tube that led to the Hero HQ had a picture of an old blue penguin. It has also been seen in the Star Wars takeover. While talking to Obi-Wan Kenobi when you're becoming a Jedi, the Jedi Battle Instructions has an old blue penguin. Even some of the Club Penguin toys are old blue. There are other yeah, places I, where penguins are old so, blue, actually. but I think I'll let you know. Okay, we'll roll with it. There were many glitches that let you be old blue. In one glitch, you would take your puffle for a walk, sit down, <laughs> wait, and then send your puffle back home. You would magically be old blue. In another glitch, you would wear the green hoodie and That's dance. pretty good animation, you would though. <laughs> Many glitches occur when you go into a busy room. All the penguins turn old blue for a split second. There's one glitch that does work, though. If you put on the gold letterman jacket from the Hollywood party and click on your dance icon, you'll turn old blue for a split second. CP World did a great video on this glitch. I'll have a link to it in the description. I think I remember. I started writing a script cool for this, but then CP World came out with his video of Old Blue while I was editing this, well, and I'm like, shoot. Like <laughs> oh, well. And I think somebody commented, like, you're just copying well, CP World. I'm like, okay, no, I wrote this script and before you came out with this. Be sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter page, which rides up. Updates, behind <laughs> the scenes, and more. These end cards are just the best. Father's Day special! I remember making this. Isn't this with like the camera we got that would never focus? I think so! This was like the first stop motion we made in our studio. It wasn't much that of a song. studio back then. It still really isn't. Yeah, not really. Oh, there we go. Like for the lip balm. Yep, how about you? The mountain two is bigger than the penguins. Alright, let's get into position. He should be here any second now. Was this one really lame? It's not actually there. Uh, did you guys order a pizza? <sighs> no. Okay, what pizza guy does? <laughs> so Who weird. does so that to pizza? I think he's coming. <laughs> Nobody's here. That means it's all for the taking. Wait, who turned on that light? Oh, oh, I think I broke my bingo. <laughs> all right, next time it has to be him. Get back into your position. I sound so like bossy, like, get back to your position. <laughs> Somebody tried to break into our house. Oh, let's just close the door. Wait, why is he knocking? Queen? Oh, Fluffy, what are you doing? Queen? It's like pitch black outside. Yeah. Oh, I think this is gonna take a while. <laughs> I don't know we always just use like a little transition. I remember making those little <gasps> pieces of paper. I'm gonna this guy a piece of my mind. Ah, stop coming to my house! Oh, hi, Dan. Um, hi, son. <laughs> Wait, what is my why son are you on? <laughs> the door was locked, and I didn't have my key. Oh, sorry about that. We had a few unwanted guests. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he looks really intimidating standing up there looking down in the mm. shadows. Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, uh surprise, Dan! Dan. Oh, thanks, guys. Wait. How much did you spend on this? <laughs> oh, don't worry about that, Dad. But why'd you come charge it to your credit card? <laughs> 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 I worked a little later than you could say that again. Well, we're glad you're home, Dad. Now let's celebrate Father's Day. What is you Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Hope you're having a good have Father's Day. I have not played like the new CP up. game like or app or anything. I haven't really kept up with Club Penguin at all, which is a little sad, but... Yeah. The cat puffall. I was surprised that this one actually like is one of the most viewed ones. I didn't think it would be. Get the PS4 Pro bundle. This one is sponsored by PlayStation. A brief ad. <laughs> Full screen. Sign of faith. What is this man? That's weird. There you go. Maybe just put the ad on. Hey everybody and welcome to Club. Hey, I sound actually like kind of interested in this. I'm your host, Beefy Penguin Nine, and today we're gonna talk about the cat puffle. You grew by into I actually, like, before I'm like, hey, everybody. Club Penguin has recently oh, released cat hey, dog puffles at the puffle party. I really hate that we had that but the puffle cat has been around for Animal Crossing poster well, right now. Like, I thought it was cool before, but, like, it doesn't make any sense when we're at the Club Penguin showing, party, like, a Nintendo game. If you clicked oh, on the wow. pencil there, it would draw a puffle with ears and tail. It didn't look like the cat puffle today, though. A second place the cat puffle can be seen is in a short video Club Penguin made for their YouTube channel called Puffle Trouble. It had the same looks as the puffle from the got slowly zoomed This in. made people wonder if there was going to be a cat puffle. But strangely, Spike Hike, who's a moderator for Club Penguin, said there would be no cat puffle. 
Liar. By this, I kind of think he meant it wouldn't have that design. Or maybe he said this so when it was released, it would have been more of a surprise. Relating those, just so, top of that night, yeah. Cat Shadow. Like cat Love that. <laughs> maybe this will happen to other oh, Puffles, though. Cut. There have been spottings of Puffles with animal-like features. For example, there has been the Bat Puffle and the Ranger Puffle. Maybe they will be in little videos like that Cat Puffle, and then eventually cat be adoptable. Puffle. Cat a Puffle. while ago, there was a concept art on the dog and I cat I remember for some reason I could not could find that picture. <laughs> like, I remember seeing it on the CP World's video, and then so maybe I the other could not animal find puffles it. Will get released. I mean, the dog and cat Puffles did, so why not the others? Well, that's all for now. Oh, this is the first guy to... Uh, I just want to see who it... Oh, I, rem I remember him suggesting that, yeah. I remember it was actually really exciting when we... <laughs> 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 who is this, like, sl Redly? Red... Redly? It's something red. Red slime or something. Yeah. I, don't know. I remember it was, re I was really Red slime, slime, yeah. Okay, Redly. Redity. Redity. I think that's second best. <laughs> that's a really good channel, I like it. Huh. That's kind of Two cool. years ago, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to check that out to see who <laughs> that was. Uh, hey, Spook CP, when will Gaming Gerbils be back? Wait, I'm an <laughs> Odyssey. Or... <laughs> yeah, when will uh, well. Gaming Gerbils be back? BC? I don't know, you can tell me. ZJ. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Club Penguin well, <laughs> the fun. I'm your host, CP Penguin 9, no. and today we're going to talk about the cat bubble, which was suggested by Reddity. Club Penguin has recently released the... There we go. I think it's just going a lot slower. Yeah, I, I haven't done this channel. This is kind of like a one-time thing that we thought would be fun to go through all the Beefy Penguin 9 videos and just... How we live them and yeah. just kind of do... So I just basically react to them now if you want to be trendy. I mean, we really have trendy. the time because hashtag Thanksgiving break. So there probably won't really be anything after this, so... This is just kind of enjoy it while you're here, <laughs> folks. Ew, Karjitsu Battle 2. I think our stop motions were actually pretty decent. <laughs> pretty decent? <laughs> Not good, just decent. Uh-oh. I think it's just going slower because we're <laughs> trying to stream at the same time on this really cheap little laptop. The soundtrack. It's supposed to be push-ups. <laughs> that, yeah, I would have kind of missed. That actually turned out, like, really good. Yeah. Sensei, I've come back for a rematch. Very well, Yon Grasshopper. Let us begin. I think that's the exact same thing he said in the first. Just too bad. Lazy script writing. Whoa. Um... <laughs> this is when we couldn't use the club hang on music because it was copyrighted. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to rock your socks off. Oh. I'm not wearing socks. <laughs> 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 it's like a banjo. Yeah. I remember. We got we had a banjo in our house and we just brought it up here and like messed around with it right in front of the microphone. <laughs> I guess that's apparently what a rock band sounds like. <laughs> the Club Penguin universe. I do like when we use sticky tack in some ways. Just because like it, you can move it around, you know? Yeah. And adjust it really easily. It's not like it's a like solid thing. Yeah. Get ready for a bumpy ride! <laughs> Dude, I got a green marker and just painted it over the group. Uh, yellow jackhammer. It didn't work quite as well as I hoped, but it didn't. Congratulations, young grasshopper. I can see you've trained hard. Now let's head back to the dojo. It's starting to get kind of cold up here. <laughs> <laughs> Humor. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. I love the font we chose for the, the little videos. Use your name. You can also click here to check out my Club Penguin 101 episode on the cat bubble. The beta games, that is a great thumbnail. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Homer 6 suggested this episode. If I remember correctly. Hey everybody, welcome to Club Penguin 101. <laughs> I'm your host, VP 
Penguin 9, and today we're going to talk about the Beta Games, which was suggested by Homer 6. I was right, Homer 6. During 2011, there was a group in Club Penguin <coughs> called the Beta Team. The Beta Team tested upcoming games, like finding bugs on the games. All kinds of penguins could access this, members and non-members. One way penguins access it was That's by clicking on the all. words Club Penguin Team and some of the Club Penguin blog posts. Those words were actually a link to the beta testing. But in February of 2013, Club Penguin shut down the beta testing. <laughs> I'm just so serious. There were Club many Penguin games shut that down the beta, beta testing. testing. One game was called oh, Roller Cake, which is now a prison day <laughs> Pucklescape. A second game was Skyscraper, which was practically just Tetris. A third game tested was called Pizza Oven. It had a twist of bean counters in it. The game was a memory game where you had to take the pizzas out of the oven and then give them to the customers in the correct order of which customer asked first. People actually thought that the unplugged arcade machine at the nightclub would be this game. There was actually a little bit of evidence. Oh, excuse me. When the machine was removed, there was a slice of pizza and a coin underneath it. Another game tested was called Snow Cone. In this game, you had to mix colors of flavor to get the right color. You did this by clicking on the little containers that held the color. There were many flavors. Some of them were blueberry, peach, grape, and strawberry. The game had a bad glitch though. A bug made the screen go blank, making it unplayable. Makes me back to there. I think these were some really great ideas for games, and I wish they would have gotten released. Well, there could be a chance. There's one game that was released, Rollerscape. So why not the others? I bet the Club Penguin team could fix the bugs. But for now, we'll just have to wait. Great. And it shut down. Well, that's all for now. Uh, yeah. like so Please much for that. Thumbs up. You can click here to subscribe to updates on What's future videos. What's up, though? You can go to pages for updates, behind the scenes. Waddle on. Wow, we just had a really long end card. And it was the same thing every time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, well. How do we, it oh my gosh, I, this was so frustrating. For some reason, I could not get my lines down. We're here to help you be your personal Live action best. parts. At Johnson Fitness and Johnson Fitness. Johnson Fitness. A deeper understanding of I know, like, helps us match mom wanted our... me to do something, and then I... Not sponsored by Johnson Fitness. <laughs> you just had trouble remembering your lines. Yeah, I could not remember them, and it was getting so frustrating. So I may look kind of mad in some of these shots. Let's find out. I think it's wrong with Hey everybody, um, me Penguin 9, and today I'm going to show you guys on how to make a stop motion. I was actually asked this by Shane Durkin, so I thought Shane. the best way to explain it was in the Sean. video. So here it is. Enjoy. Before you start animating, you need to know what you're going to animate with. For this tutorial, we'll be using Club Penguin. <laughs> I don't believe But you can pretty much use anything you like, such as Lego figures. After you've figured out what you're <laughs> Transitions to the exact same shot. <laughs> I won't spend too much time on this, I can't really show you how, but if you are having trouble, you can look at some other people's videos, which will help give you ideas. I look so derpy. Steal other people's then ideas. <laughs> Plagiarism. First, That's the way to go, kids. Make sure it looks appropriate for the scene. Also add in a backdrop to help fit the scene. Then dress your set with props and decoration. It is also a good idea to stick to the scene. <laughs> Just in case you accidentally bump into it. Then, make sure you have good lighting around your set. We usually have two desk lamps that are shining on our set. You then want to turn off any overhead lights and have the curtains over the windows. Now it is time to animate. When you are getting your camera set up, make sure it is on a tripod to avoid shaking the camera. If you don't have it's a tripod, camera. you can set the camera on your phone or something. Make on? Or just take pictures right there. Yeah, we'll yeah. oh, just take video too. Though. Yeah. Once you have all your pictures taken, it is time to oh, edit my old upload all your pictures old to your laptop, I guess. save them in a folder. Then, open up your editing program. We actually had to use our parents' computer for this because I had Movie Maker on mine. We'll be showing you how to do on Windows Movie Maker. Import all the pictures to the program words. and then all of them to the timeline. <laughs> From all here you pixels. have to speed up the pictures. We usually have them at 5 milliseconds. Though, you do have to make some pictures longer for when the characters talk or something else. If you want to add in voices and mouth animation, here's what you have to do. For voices, get a microphone and record your lines. There should be a voice recording program on your computer, but if not, you can also record a video and say your lines and just use the audio from the video. Now for mouth animation. 
The best way to do it in Windows Movie Maker is to copy the picture where you want the mouth to be and use paint to draw a mouth on the copy wow, picture. Wow, wow. Then add it into the stop motion <laughs> like, and have it and the picture without the mouth go back and forth to give the illusion of speaking. Once you have that, <laughs> add that any sound great. effects, music, and or titles that you want and render your stop motion. <laughs> <laughs> this is background music. What a nice day. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Okay, that was kind of boring. Uh, Aaron, the artist guy. How's it going? Hello, my beefers. If you have any more requests, please leave them in the comments. Jane. Also, if you have a question about making a stop motion, also leave that in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it. Speaking of stop motions, you can check out my latest one by clicking here. Awesome. This is the next How To Basic. Yes. Oh, kind of. Oh, this is, I think this one was also okay. This one's actually well like viewed. My, I think it's the most viewed Pokemon Award. Don't you It's really loud. Hey, everybody, oh. and welcome to Clopin. Just gotta turn that yeah, down a teeny really bit. I love this open. Wait, we start back at the beginning. But yeah, this was like, well, three hundred thirty-three likes, thirty-three dislikes. It's a lot of threes. Beepy. <laughs> 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 This is like, I think, maybe my favorite oh. episode of Clopin' Hey everybody, and welcome to Club Penguin 101. I'm your host, Beefy Penguin 9, and happy 4th of July! America! <laughs> Anyways, today we're going to talk about the unreleased colors, which was suggested by Connor. <laughs> just, just, just Connor? You may remember a while ago, we talked about Old Blue which was a color that the Club Penguin team used for testing and animations. Little did I know that there were other colors like Old Blue. Anyways, let's get right Anyways. into it. One color that you cannot wear is Dark Black. Dark Black is a color that is not available in Club Penguin or even any of the Penguin Chat games. But the Club Penguin team uses it as a placeholder color for upcoming games that they are designing. While it can't be used, it can be seen, seen in, in many places. places. Dark it's like Black the exact same thing as the old Club Penguin has made online. Yeah. <laughs> in one book called Lime Green Dojo Clean, the penguin on the cover is dark black. In another. No! Oh, so much for that. <laughs> dark Black oh, is the only go. color Club Penguin that has no shadow value. There are people who make some of that, that are dark black. I said that like, oh, what is no shadow there value? There have been glitches where penguins <laughs> turn dark black. One glitch occurred after the holiday party in 2011. After the decorations were taken down, there was a glitch where all the penguins turned to dark black. Sometimes glitches can occur in card jitsu battles where your opponent turns dark black. A second color of these unreleased colors is light purple. Light purple was a color you could use in Penguin Chat 3, but not in Club Penguin. It is unlikely that it will be released in present day Club Penguin. In the ninth episode of a series called Waddle On that Club Hashtag Penguin made, there was a light purple penguin. Lavender was a color that could have been released. It wasn't, though, due to it being outvoted in the Club Penguin color votes in 2009. Lavender is a fake item, though. I that it is an item obtained by cheating, but usually it's an animal. I was going to say results. Lavender has been seen in the Monsters University Takeover login screen. There is a penguin wearing it. Well, at least a similar shade of it. Like Lavender, maroon was a color that was in the Club Penguin color vote of 2009. It lost as well. People say it has a similar color to the Burgundy Collection, which was just some furniture items for the catalog. The only the penguin who has been known to wear it was Don Carlton, who is a monster at the Monsters University Takeover. Now that's attractive. Probably one of the least known about colors is Unknown Blue, or Ice Blue. The only trace of it is in SWF files. If you don't know, SWF don't stands know. for Shockwave Flash, or so Small Web Format. It is a flash extension file that the Club Penguin team used when designing rooms. And if you're still confused, you're, you're not, not alone. alone. I really have no idea what I'm saying. I think you've never seen the launch of Club Penguin at all. Well, I just it's try to sound smart. It's will announce it. The oh, last color is Thank you for your making. Or just gray for short. Like lavender, gray is a bait item. One place you can see a gray penguin is on the EPF batch. The penguin on it is gray. In the sneak peek of the exclusive items for the holiday party of 2013, there were two gray penguins. There is one thing that is interesting about this color, though. In the Club Penguin Times, issue 316, Sensei says he is gray because he is old. 
I think these are some really awesome colors. <laughs> yeah, I can't kind of show them. What's the camera? Is that the place? Well, that's all for now. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. You can click here to subscribe to get updates on future videos. And you can click here to check out Connor's channel, who's the one that suggested the topic for this video. Speaking of hey, which, hey, if you do have to yell for another episode, please leave it in the comments one? below. Okay. Also, what's your favorite color? Let me know in the comments. Camera? Be sure oh, to check out my so Facebook and Twitter pages for old? updates, I guess so. my scenes, and more. <laughs> Links for those will be in the description. Until Nobody next cares, baby. Until next time, waddle on. Hey, yeah, stop motion. Game of Gales Day. This was supposed to be a series. The first episode was the pizza bust, and then this was supposed to be like the follow up. Although, I don't think ever, anybody ever realized that because. Nobody asked. No, yeah, and I don't. We never made it obvious enough. Like, we never said this was gonna be like a series. Like, we didn't say episode one or episode two. So, I don't really. I mean, like, at the end of this. I don't think people really understand what was supposed to be going on. Yeah. Especially since this one got like. Somebody help! Yeah. <laughs> Nobody can hear you. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm never gonna say that my voice acting was Thank good in me, these, yeah, but yeah. I feel like yeah, compared yeah, to the yeah, very yeah. first well, one, that bank robber one, where we rebooted the channel, I feel like it's developed a little bit better. I can't find Purplehead anywhere. I wonder where he went. Maybe I just need a day off. Yeah, that sounds good. CPN reporting live. CPN. We just went to our fridge, got some frosting, just put it on the pan. I like how the pizza's like this iron tray. You're just standing there? This is boring. This is like the follow-up to hey, the pizza bus. Hey, where'd you get yeah. those pizzas? Hey, none of your business, lady. Hey, hey. Listen to me, buddy. Where'd you get those buddy. pizzas? Buddy, <laughs> I don't know. I got them online. The seller wouldn't tell me his name. They came to me in a yellow there are owls room, in and the I never got a good look at the driver's face. That's all I know. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> That's a I thing. think that guy got the pizzas from Purplehead. But I'm gonna need help to figure out the rest. And I know just who to call. I forgot about that. It was yeah, supposed to be gonna, Shadow Guy. Yeah, yeah, I remember like, I remember I always wanted to get like the Shadow Guy figure. Like, I don't know. Click here, subscribe to get since I was like 10 or so. And then I remember like I found it online for pretty cheap. I'm like, oh my gosh, I should totally get this. And then I can have him in the stop motion. And then, yeah, that never happened. Oh, well. The beta hat. This one I kind of felt like I was copying CP World because his was like came out well before this and was really popular. Hey everybody, and welcome to Club Penguin 101. I'm your host, Beefy Penguin 9, and today we're going to talk about the Beta Hat, which was suggested by Team Man. But see, I had to do the episode because it was suggested. The Beta Hat was available at the town in a party Club Penguin held called views. the Beta Party. <laughs> Club Penguin made the Beta Party because they wanted all the Beta testers to have a little bit of a break and also to see how many penguins could be on at the same time. They also wanted players to spot any bugs so the team could fix them. There were two parties that happened on the same day. They lasted about two hours each, clocking in with around oh, no. 100 minutes. She's like, what's this? This is this a mistake. This is the shortest party that Club Penguin has ever held. Nothing really happened at the party, though. There was only a banner at the town with a free item called the Beta Hat. The guy who made the Beta Hat was a guy named Screenhawk. His real name, though, is Chris Hendricks. He was a moderator is Chris. <laughs> and an artist. He worked on audio, animation, Hey, Justin Flipser Flippers. Hey, Justin. Wizard Cat, Blast from the Past. Sweet so thought that by putting two tacky colors Sweet together on a party music. hat would make the item less desirable. This obviously failed, though. <laughs> this the beta hat <laughs> well, what did you <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beefy, we're rolling. Oh! I feel like there's a lot of space between, like, so yeah, it looks a little bit right. awkward. You can actually see traces of the beta hat, or the beta hat itself, in quite a few places. The easiest place to see it is probably at the gift shop. If you look right by the display cases, you can see it. You can also see the beta hat in the 2008-2009 to yearbook. One of the penguins on the cover is wearing it. It has also been seen on a card jitsu card. 
One that is so orange. So easily. <laughs> there are a couple. In only the highest quality. <laughs> on the fifth and eighth anniversary, it was behind a glass cabinet. At the fourth anniversary party login screen. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> There have been some clothing items that are based yeah, off cool. of the Beta Hat, specifically the Beta Hat t-shirt and the Beta Grid sweater. It has also been seen in the Club Penguin <laughs> cool. Times, specifically so issues number 21, number 63, number 175, and number 256. On issue 21, a green pup bull is wearing the hat. The Beta Hat was seen on the front page on issue 63. Issue 175, a penguin is wearing a Beta Hat. And on issue 256, there's a penguin who is having a thought of him being a rock star. In the picture, he's wearing a beta hat. <laughs> Honey, it's <laughs> never gonna happen. A beta hat, he says, ah, the beta hat, the most ancient of all hats. I rarely wear mine. What's interesting about this, though, is that Sensei wasn't introduced until a couple of years later. What? In the book, Club you mean a fictional character? Was around before? <laughs> Club Penguin me? <laughs> this okay, is for some reason, a lot of people hated this video. It's, it has 10 more dislikes than likes. I just think it was. Hey guys, yeah. quick well, update. Haircut. I'm on vacation right now, so I won't have any stop motion or any other video like, like that. Cool up in front this of the week. mountains. But I will have the next episode of CP101 up this Friday. I wanted something in between the two episodes of CP101, so, so here's a compilation, compilation of some Club Penguin me. Hope, Hope you enjoy. enjoy. See, why did everybody hate this video? You guys should all go like the video. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> the stall of 2008. Cream. Yes. Yeah, we spelled yeah. cream. Why did we spell it like that? Dead meat. <laughs> Question mark, question mark, question mark. There was a rumor that was true and true this storm. There are many speculations of ninjas. I, I look so time. serious when and like bored. Told him it is a very future. serious topic. There is also you're a have fun and, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> it is a water power card with the power of 11. 11. A water power card. There have been many other storms. That's a formal. Well, I think this is the one that has the greatest impact on Club Penguin. Well, that's all for now. 
Yeah, and like you heard off, about this video CPR. Like, <laughs> CPR. Okay. <laughs> also, I just joined the streams. Uh, yeah, I have. I have a lot of people telling me to play Club Penguin Rewritten, which I still have not done, which is probably not good. I should probably check it out. I don't know if that'll ever actually happen. But thank you for joining the stream. We really appreciate it. Where were we? Okay, we're down now. <laughs> September 27th, the 2010, was when a legend was born. <laughs> I think he's talking about me. <laughs> oh, oh. Right? Oh, this channel's okay. Yes. <laughs> I always kind of forget. For some reason, I always think I joined YouTube September 21st. But I don't know why I think that, because it's not 21st. It was, yeah, the 27th. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just five more minutes, Fluffy. Quick, quick. I like how you always name the Puffle Fluffy. <laughs> Thanks, Henry Swords. Quee? I like our stop motions a lot too. I like how the alarm clock, like, the keeps changing. Yeah. <laughs> so that was one hard part of stop motion since there wasn't a whole ton of club panel props to use. They did a pretty good job. Yeah. yeah. I like it. It's like, yeah, it's kind of decked out and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I like our beds, the sleigh with the cotton ball in there. Yeah. Uh, there you go, Fluffy. Whoa! Oh, he's like yeah. move. Let's see. Quick. 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 Here's the new camera. <laughs> this is how it works. You push this button right here, and whoa! Whee! <laughs> so it's getting up before, like four okay. years. <laughs> What a funny ending. We thought we were so funny. All of our jokes that we thought were funny in this, like we're just listening to now, and like it's like a cringe compilation. Oh, what a nice. puffle. I remember that was like the episode that like jumps around my channel, basically. Yeah. It was a glorious time. The golden ages. That was exciting. Ah, oh, that is terrifying. terrifying. <laughs> 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 I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Don't ever try to your Minecraft channel. Yeah. Hey, hey everybody. Hey, my hair's like that. I'm your host, Baby Penguin 9, and today we're going to talk about the Olaf Puffle, which was suggested by Homer 6 and Benedict Carl. Benedict I'm sure you guys know who Olaf is. He's a snowman from Frozen. He's a snowman from Frozen! He has been recently spotted in Club Penguin's newest song, Best Day Ever. Best now, day it's day. not exactly Olaf. It's Olaf, except he's a puffle. <laughs> it's the name Olaf, puffle! <laughs> no way! that there is going to be a Frozen party. But we're not really sure when. In a tweet that Polo Field made, he said, I hear there's a summer party coming in August, with a twist. Now, this points to a frozen party, since Polo Field said that the party will have a twist. The opposite of summer is winter, and frozen was all about snow and the cold. Never would so have guessed that. this points to a frozen party. The Olaf Puffle also points to the party coming as well. Also, when I saw this Olaf Puffle, it gave me an idea. Puffle costumes. I mean, we have puffle hats, so why not costumes? I think it'd be really fun to dress up your puffle. Your puffle could be in a Olaf costume wearing a princess hat. Wow, that would just be crazy. That's a really idea. I would buy him. I would buy him. I would buy him. Also, let me know what you guys think of Of course you would be As well as the frozen party in the comments too. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> you just look so, in English class, we're, we're learning about poetry, we're learning about Walt Whitman, and then 
he was trying to publish this book of poems he wrote, so he had to publish it himself because nobody else would, and then he wrote reviews about the book himself. <laughs> <laughs> this book is <laughs> like, great. Seems like it could be a little biased. I'm going to talk about Icebox. Basically, Club Penguin 101. Icebox is a test server for moderators. It consisted of editing, publishing, and the creation of SWF files. It went on my episode of CBS this is Pokemon 101. Let's just be real. Yeah. I hate our sets. Like, especially this one. Like, it's just why a blank wall. Yeah. And it's and the lighting. lighting. It's terrible. It's orange lighting. Massive shadow. <laughs> it's such a quick video. Half of it is an end card. Basically. Not one of my well, proudest moments, but I mean. <laughs> Oh, I cannot mm, wait till we get to uh Fog Force. The ALS Ice Bucket Challenge video. Typo. <laughs> <Day ball. laughs> Beefy Penguin is YouTube sensation. Oh thanks. <laughs> you know it's April. Hey. Hi OK Davis. <laughs> Okay, honestly, my hero's in that one. Yeah, I think it... Yeah, you know, it's from there. I think it's one of the later episodes, which is like... The Fog Force, which was suggested by Hammy Penguin. Hammy Penguin. The Fog Force is an unknown... Were we planning on, like, five episodes? Not in any game five. I don't have anything to write about. I was looking up a bunch of stuff, and then I could not find it. Okay, well, I think... Before I, our idea was kind of different, like we were going to talk about like After myths 30, and rumors and everything, but I couldn't find anything. Yeah. Store. But then it's like, well, it's not about really anything. Yeah. Some people think that this <laughs> yeah. at Operation Puffle. At that time, you had to go into the wilderness of Club Penguin and save Puffles. <laughs> Some of these like little live action bits are so quick, I'm like, why do we even why? decide to go on? Yeah. It said, mysterious mists cover the wilds. Be careful near the ski village. This room is covered in mist. There's more evidence. You though. don't say. In the background, you can see a big puffle, or what looks like one at least. People say that this is the entrance to the river cave, which was a room that was accessible at Operation Puffle. But there is more evidence. You can also see a penguin holding a puffle in the what background. Am I even talking in about? Operation Puffle, you can find these big puffles, which is what this penguin seems to be doing. But this idea of the fog force being part of the wilderness and maybe no. an accessible room was crushed. Crush. <laughs> Polo Field said in a comic reply that this room had nothing to do with the wilderness. He kind of looks like, I yeah, just crush that man. <laughs> and we might have a chance. Club Penguin could use it for a different event, right? Right? No. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs Sue up. Sue P says, I should do Club Penguin at 101, where I cover new myths, lore, made for CPR. <laughs> I like that idea. I should do it before someone else takes it. Holy dip, 81 episodes? It's <laughs> crazy. Oh, you know, I kind of, my goal was like always to be, let's get it to 101 episodes, because it's CP 101, but I ended 20 episodes short, but, you know, yeah. I, I wish I'd end like at 85 or something, like a nice number, but 81 is just so random, it annoys me. Hey Don't. everybody, I'm Beefy Penguin 9 and today I'm going to do my first video game review on Club Penguin Game Day for the week. That said, let's jump right into it. The game starts out with you. Like, this is like a really boring video. Penguin from the computer game, or just make a penguin for this game. Whoa. I thought that this was a great addition. Once you make your character, you can choose from three modes: the story mode, the tournament mode, or quick play. Tell you the best thing to start acting. The game's story is pretty simple. It is game day on Club Penguin. I remember I always called this Big Game Day. Club <laughs> Penguin's Big Game Day. Basically, this was a review we had previously done on a different channel, which I kind of adapted into this channel. Basically? I think this is one of the first things I did with the Hapog that I got. Hapog capture card. I remember before I like restarted Beat with Penguin 9. So like the first few years I was doing it, I was going to do a review on this game. <laughs> but, I mean, it never did happen because it just didn't work out very well. But I remember I was, like, filming the TV with just the camera. I was, like, talking while I was filming, like, no voice or anything. Really? I don't remember this. I, I think I basically just tried to do it by myself. I don't think you're really going to help me. <laughs> it just was so bad because, like, 
Only as like I felt had to film like all like the loading screens and everything too. It was like. But I have to say, hey, everyone, I'm Beefy Penguin, and I have my first voice crack. <laughs> Puberty? I won't go back to this game a whole lot, though. The game didn't use too many motion controls, though, but I was glad. Because now that's boring. <laughs> there was one thing I found interesting about this game. The difficulty settings. You know, I actually like liked most of these games. Right. Yeah. On how hard yeah. or easy that's that's fine. In this game though, it changes the environment you play in. I liked how they did this because some of the games are really basic. So this helped to make them more fun. It is still easy to beat the computer players though. So this game is best to be played with all human players. Another cool feature good I got here. was that you could transfer your penguin to the Wii remote. So, here's how it goes. You transfer your penguin that you use onto the Wii remote and go to a friend's house who also owns Cold Penguin Game Day. You can then transfer yeah, your penguin on their game, then <laughs> your penguin while playing to earn coins and other items. At the end of each mini game, you earn coins. You can use these coins to purchase things at the gift shop in the game. This kind of cool seeing all these like these coins uh, and your items yeah. to your account on Club Penguin. But there's a problem with this. A while ago, Nintendo shut down its Wi-Fi connection service for Wii games. So now you can't transfer the coins you earned or the items, which really, like, really, really sucks. Things. This game just isn't as good without it at all. Oh. Now turn. Yeah, I was, I was really sad about that. I don't see how that. they messed this up so hard. The so hard. <laughs> you try to sound angry. You want. It is always a random draw. You can't even choose how many games you want. It's always, always four. four. There's no point for tournament mode to be in this game. The graphics <laughs> of this game that is something I thought was really odd. Game. Like, we can't choose. Since Club Penguin is a computer game, I thought the game wouldn't look so great. But it does. It has a 3D comical look, which I liked. Oh, I'm sorry, Sue. I'll try and speak up a bit. And we're fun to play. Uh, but uh, Sue said it's kind of hard to hear us over the video. Oh, now. sure. The game controlled awesomely. Awesomely? Yeah, that good <laughs> grammar there. So hard! <laughs> You're kind of leaning into me. Yeah, that's comfortable. <laughs> so it's I was obsessed with this game because it was dancing, mm -hmm. and I'm all about that dancing life. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull this. I'm like, we're so hard. I'm gonna have to set my feet up on the bed. <laughs> Oh, I remember this. Uh, we get that code for yeah. Wind Waker each year yeah. and give it away. I don't think we ever did. Yeah, well, okay, I think because I remember, A, I don't think there were that many people, and then B, I was looking into it, and I don't think, like, the code would have only worked for people in the United States, I'm pretty sure. So then just kind of all fell apart. I don't know. Did that code, like, just expire or something? Or The glue fell apart. I didn't give it to Noah. I don't know. I think we might have given it to him. Is <laughs> someone else? <laughs> well... <laughs> Uh, I remember making this. For some reason, you were really proud of this hey, video. Me, I don't know why. I liked this game, but then they got rid of it. I, I think the reason why I liked it is because I thought the shot, like shot-wise, like for not being able, not having a capture card for an iPad, I thought it actually looked pretty good. Yeah. I also liked it too, to be able to like talk about it right away, as opposed to like waiting for someone else to talk yeah. about it and trying to pick up the slack, I guess, or just not pick up the slack, but just you know, kind of <laughs> trailing on. Like, oh, hey guys, check out this thing you heard about like last week. <laughs> Soupy says, I didn't discover your channel until a few days ago due to me looking up the Penguin videos to feed nostalgia since I used to play and I got back into it. Hey That's cool. Nice. I know, I've noticed that, like, I've, I've noticed that, like, ever since I've ended my channel, I've actually still been getting subscribers, which I don't quite know. Because when I ended my channel, it's always kind of sad because, like, I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna, like, lose all my subscribers, so it's gonna go down a lot, which will always be kind of sad if I ever, you know, look back or check out the channel again, but I've still been getting some, which is weird. Max is a Spanish moderator for Club Penguin. Screen 
Toontown. You were at Toontown. Yeah, it was, yeah, like we played it. It was pretty fun, and then yeah. we stopped playing it. <laughs> we stopped. There are other Don't know why. Ooh, Toontown. <laughs> yeah, I actually really liked Toontown, just uh, more than Club Penguin, actually, just because there was the whole leveling up, the RPG element to it. I remember it, I remember it being really random. <laughs> do I celebrate Thanksgiving? Yes, I do. I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. Lots of food. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> Jimmy44033. Four, four, zero, three, three. Hey, where do you use that thing? picture? Using oh, well, the subs you've been getting are probably from people like me going through the same scenario I'm in. <laughs> Maybe. I think it might also be, possibly, uh, I have a video about how to make a live stream, which is, A, really cringy, but it still gets a lot of views just because it's not related to Club Penguin. So I wonder if people from that are, like, subscribing or all. I don't know. I thought it would be cool if we did something hey guys, with the uh, books, the Club Penguin books. I think we meant to, but then... Yeah. I think it was like we wanted to get like a, a few more to kind of like do the whole... Yeah, like collage, the rather than just doing like one, because there would only be so much to talk about. That never really happened. <laughs> Why am I? How to make an end card? Oh no, I did not think this is going to be good. Stranger Things! You know the rules, and so do I. Stranger Things. Oh my goodness. Love me some Strange Things. Hey guys, it's me, Beefy Penguin 9. My voice sounds really good. I'm going to show you guys how to make an end card. This topic was asked by Earthquake3405. First, you have to get the background you want. Never make use sure one of those backgrounds. And make sure it doesn't blend know. with the Why don't we show, because these are like, I don't think are good backgrounds you want to use for your edit card. Yeah, I think you want a pretty basic, like not basic. It's kind of like pattern, but well, not like that. Something simplistic that's not distracting. And what you want on your edit card. We use Corel Video Studio Pro X6, but we'll be showing you how to do it on Windows Movie Maker. First, you'll need to get the images you want, such as the subscribe logo. Once you have the images you want, it is time to put the end card together. Open up Paint and make the picture size close to 1920 by 1080. It doesn't have to be exact, but have it bigger than smaller. Now adding in the images. Go to the Paste button in the top left corner and click Paste From. Find the image you want, then resize it to your liking and put it anywhere you want. Now that you have all the images added in, we will add the text. Save the picture, then open it up in Windows Movie Maker. Once it is in the timeline, add a title. Put in the text you want, change the font if you would like, and position it accordingly. Now that that is done, let's go and add the annotations. When you upload your video, you can add the annotations until it is done processing. If I really like how he was getting the shot just because you can yeah, like, see what it used to be like. Once the video is done processing, go to your video manager and click the arrow next to the edit button. Then click on annotations. Oh, that's back by the annotations are here. Still around. Once you're there, click add annotation and spotlight. Like I do like that annotations. Yeah, the like by annotations they're very the like annotation. flexible. You could like they could be as long as you wanted, so your end cards could be as long as you wanted, or they could they not necessarily be at the end. But I do and like now with the new end cards the end screen, it's just like it has to be at the end, it has to be 20 seconds or less. Which I can understand why, because you don't really want a long way, end card. Yeah. So, but... But they like, for gaming journals, like, doing was having, like, a little blooper at the end, just to kind of... Something extra to if you get for the people that did stick around for the whole way through. But now with the new end screen, you can't really do that. Thanks for watching! What?! <laughs> I, I cut the part where I'm adjusting the camera? Maybe this is a cool hipster ending transition. <laughs> Will I stream more, be more active on this channel? No, this is just kind of a one-time thing. We thought it'd be fun to do, but yeah, I don't really expect anything else on this. Well, even the one you, you have Animal Crossing in the pack. Yeah, I really wish, that really bugs me now, is that we have the Animal Crossing hey, background. Welcome to the season one finale of Club Penguin. Season one finale, wow. Um, Sue says we should get an ad blocker. I agree. No, 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 no. That's how we support creators.
Really, I guess for this it would have been just like not having them. Oh, oh well. An unidentified creature. Oh, that's true. An unidentified creature. Oh, friend code. Yeah, okay, the sad thing is, I don't play the Switch that much at all. Like, when the Wii U came out, I played it all the time, but the Switch I've not played really at all. It's, like, especially Breath of the Wild. Like, I was thinking, I was like, oh, I'm gonna play this so much, it, I've maybe put 10 hours into yeah. it. It's really sad. <laughs> Yes. Um, Spook CPS if we're gonna get Odyssey, which we want to. I mean, I have a friend who has a Switch who has gotten Odyssey, so I've been able to play a little bit of it. Oh, but you might have seen the little cave on the mountain to the left. I'm now sure we'll get it sometime. Some people think that this might be where the Sasquatch lives. Even Aunt Arctic acknowledges Aunt the Sasquatch Arctic. may be living there in the Club Penguin times. Some people also Sophia think that the, the stream I just for a second it said it stopped, so I completed it. It's like, whoops. The Sasquatch might not exactly live in the Fox. How have you guys been? I'm doing pretty good. Lucky. Thanks, Anthony. Players then might need to go on an expedition to find the Sasquatch. Just living life, essentially. And not Enjoying break. I think it looks it's really absolutely up. terrifying. <laughs> See, so at the end of the first season, I look a lot better in front of the camera. Yeah. You did get like a lot more Club Penguin. Well, no, yeah. I am a robot. <laughs> Where are we at now? Oh, the letter. letter. Oh my gosh. Okay, at like the ending scenes in this, I look so derpy. I'm like. <laughs> We actually, actually added this in just for the video that we uploaded here. That's why it might look a little bit different. I actually really like the beginning. It's actually like pretty creepy if I do say so myself. I like the font that we chose. For this, our, we made this with our cousin, and like we didn't really have any lighting, so she just used her iPhone light. <laughs> so it just looks so dark and grainy. I do you like that we did that with the sound uh, coming in first? Burns cup slowly up to face. Dear Michael, I have made a great mistake. How old is I was making this. season I'm one? The job site. Thirteen? No. I do not yeah, thirteen. Thirteen is thirteen. I'm sorry. I have nothing to leave you to remember. I think. Also, I know. I, me this. Never. I, I was mean, twelve, never. and Go then your job turned thirteen. If you want to survive. Survive. My son was lost in the mine. His name was Beefy Penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hello. Is here? Uh -oh. I can't think it's like darker throughout the whole film. They cut down all those trees. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I actually really like this idea of taking like these independent games and like you know, them. It. Yeah, especially like ones where like they have a story but it's you know not the focus. Or where it's not it's not super complex, like there's like, room to adjust and interpret. You know, I'm touching the blood. <laughs> Who would do that? Oh. Just, oh, I that would blood. not do that. <laughs> R.I.P. It is a dream, so, you know. <sighs> Spoiler alert. I like, too, when the lane just completely changes here. You know, we, we, like, had an extension cord and brought, uh, uh, like, brought out a lamp. Like, yeah, just, an orange. Uh, yeah. yeah, lighting, not the best. Damn! <laughs> It's like a cat just jumping back. <laughs> that was our cousin, by the way. Just a fun little tidbit there. This movie is sponsored by Fat Man. Fat Man. <laughs> it totally ruins the moment. How old am I now? I am 16 years old. 
Alright, M16 going on to 17. <laughs> Plot twist, beefy lives. <laughs> you got the key. You got the small key. <laughs> I live in the shell and I was still alive. Thank you. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a penguin could fly. Its little wings are too short to get his fat body off the ground due to the pizzas he ate. <laughs> True. That's supposed to be a, a syringe, syringe for anybody that's wondering. <laughs> Unless, okay, there's a ton of text on it, and that's all. This is, I also hate this too, that we went from voice, and then in the next one it's just words on the screen, you know? I mean, what voice would we use, though? I think you could have just, like, yeah. had somebody... Just do the classic, turn the pitch really well, and do a really deep voice. I, know, this kind of I think that was the reason why, because we wanted to make it a little bit more mysterious. It was, or we could just, like... I don't know, we should have just tried to pull someone, like, random someone over. Find someone on the street. Hey, can you do this for us? That shot would not focus at all. We just got lucky there, that focused just in time. Yeah, lane's so bad. The camera's not going out of focus. Okay, oh. that's a swing for anybody that's wondering. I don't know if you can actually tell, but that's our cousin. Help me. <laughs> oh, I really need to go to the bathroom. I stopped so weird. It's like this is uh, cringiness. I can't. I can't watch or listen. Okay. I like this effect because it's called stumbling drunk. <laughs> stumbling. <laughs> this is the best okay. shot I think in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. This is my favorite shot. That's actually a picture. We just added a camera shaking effect to it. This is pretty creepy and cringe. Uh, I think it's just pretty cringy. I cringey. think it's just cringy. <laughs> We okay. When we showed this to our family. We all laughed more than anything. Yep. I think that says a lot. Okay. See, I look so derpy in this. Okay. <laughs> look at. Okay. Look at that face. It's. Oh my gosh. That's a pretty cool shot. Yeah. Oh, what a bad dream. I would watch it go back to <laughs> sleep too. <laughs> And of course, you know, state it to uh, no, everybody that's listening, which is no one. Can we have a bathroom break? Well, bathroom break? it's the live stream. Yeah. <laughs> it's us. I kind of want to just go to the live stream just for like the sake of us watching the live stream while on the live stream. Well, if you want to go to the bathroom, you should do that. And I'm just going to mess around with the live stream quick. I wonder if anybody's sleeping now. I just want to, just for the sake of... Saying we're watching the live stream. This is probably gonna mess something up, but I just wanted to. I just think it'll be so funny. <laughs> I think it'll be so funny. Hey, there's me. Hi, me. Let's see if we can time it so that I'm talking to myself. Just for the same. <laughs> see how far we're behind. Saying we're watching the live stream. I wonder if I go to the lot of the live portion. I wonder if I can pull it in because I think my computer's probably dying from how. Uh... Okay, this is bad. Having myself talk, I can't. I can't talk when I'm hearing myself talk on the live stream. I'm sorry. It'll loop. In this is not good. This is crazy. Okay, I'm not gonna do that anymore because I don't think it's gonna work too well. Yeah, my laptop is a very old, low-end uh, laptop. What computer are you using? It's a Lenovo. I really don't know much beyond that, but it was not made for live streaming, so that's why all the videos when we play them don't start up. They usually take a few seconds just because like this computer is not, like, not even able to really live stream all that well, and now we're asking it to stream video. So, well, find out where are we. We just watch. Oh no, I see. Go back to oldest, get this queued up for when Beefy returns. Edgy. Check your most popular video. Okay, we can do that in a little bit. I'll just get. We'll go back to our build marathon. 
that. Let me jump to that. I don't think we're going to stay here for until we get through every single one of them. What you're talking but, about? <laughs> still have a ton more. Anyways. Some of my favorites, though, are actually just like the stuff that's not the Club Penguin ones. Hey, everybody. Maybe Another fun Can tidbit. I, I threw up this day. <laughs> After. I words. I, I also remember I was eating so cheese curds. It wasn't this we got back from a trip. Yeah. There's this one guy who commented, <laughs> they thought I said, oh, crazy, but I was supposed to say, oh, freezing. It was crazy, though. Can we find it? I wonder if it's still on there, the comment I'm I talking about. I feel like it would be. It's <laughs> awesome video. Mm. I don't know if it's still there. Oh, yeah, though. <laughs> it made me laugh at the end when you said crazy, though. It's said freezing. I can get why you thought I said crazy, though. It's gonna see beefy when his voice is high pitch when low pitch. Now. I know this one's gonna be so weird. It's like watching a video. I'm like, hey guys, and then it's me. Hi guys. Um, whoa, whoa, a tiny bit whoa. late. You're a tiny bit late. Yeah. I remember actually somebody. I filmed a somebody else's uh, ice bucket challenge, and it was like way after it got done. I'm just. I'm thinking like, uh, guys. I feel like for some reason, I feel like we made a lot of history videos. So I, just, I mean, I guess this and the documentary. I guess that's it. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason why I got into YouTube oh, oh, was kind of because cute. my brother. He started a YouTube channel called GameCube 37, which I thought was pretty cool. So I decided that I wanted to make my own YouTube channel. Right. I created my YouTube channel on September 26, 2010 and uploaded my first video from the Halloween party a day after. I called myself BP Penguin 9 for these reasons. BP comes from my best friend's nickname. By the way, he's not fat. By the way, he's not fat. I feel like I had to add that in. Is that is what BP in my channel was. And the number 9 comes from me being 9 years old on the day I made my YouTube channel. Wow. Deep. <laughs> that was 7 years ago. using one hand to hold the camera and the other hand to move the penguins. Seeing them today makes me ask myself, what was I thinking? What drugs were I on? <laughs> okay, I think, I think I have a rare club penguin sex because it has no eyes, so it's like a defect. You know how much like those amoeba were worth that were like, you know, defects? Like there's like a princess peach one that had no legs. It was like the sandwich one that like two, both her arms like the cannon things. So I'm like, maybe that's my club penguin figured it that the eyes is rare too. <laughs> Okay, you messed up with a lot of dates on this video, remember? You're like editing some of it, and then all the dates were just kind of off. Like, I don't, how do you mistake 11 and 24? Aw, <laughs> DJ Max. <laughs> the bloopers video. <laughs> oh. oh no, is that coming up? I guess we'll find out. History, season two promo. Wow. <laughs> Do a one on on my penguin O C or I'll oh, unsubscribe. <laughs> what? Wow, I'm just like Club Penguin one on one. It's that epic. The toughest nails, kids. And welcome to the season two premiere of Club Penguin one on one. Dude, top. 
<laughs> Why did we feel the need to sh have the camera shaking? That's all your idea, honey. A card gets you shot. Now it's just still. <laughs> I think season two might have been my favorite. I feel like season two, like all of season two, during that time frame was like the golden ages of Beefy King and I. <laughs> like when we were like getting, you know, the most attention and like the most viewership. Yeah. So then like after season three, hey, I guess halfway through season four, I just feel like people weren't watching that much and was growing at a lot slower of a pace. Which was kind of depressing. Yes, um, well, Luxler spent over two hundred dollars on CP and I regret it. <laughs> oh, it's right here. <laughs> I wonder how much I spent on CP. I think I know I bought a few memberships over the years. Uh, I spent way too much. I think I did buy a puffle of my own back when I was into the game. There have been numerous hints that Crib Cartridge Sue Shadow will probably come. On Spike Hike's Twitter account, he said Snow first, which definitely points to Cartridge Sue Shadow coming. Definitely points! He said it was a rumor, but he believes it. Spike Hike also said. That there was going to be something big. Someone acknowledged my existence. Sue P is a person and exists. Old CP gave me lots of nostalgia. I want season 101. Oh, okay. Well, that might take a while. Mike Hike said on his Twitter, he says, I have a feeling you guys want Operation Ninja next year. That's not what it says. This was posted last year, so it could be coming up very soon. There have been even more things and that it never happened, or did it actually? Don't know. Maybe it didn't. No. Of each element no, I don't think it did. The iceberg, storm clouds will appear, pointing at Cardshipsu Shadow. Even Sensei has been asked about Cardshipsu Shadow. When asked, he replied, "There might be shadows someday." And one element at a time. This points to Cardshipsu Shadow even more. There have also been things in the newspaper yeah. pointing to Cardshipsu Shadow. I think it's pretty safe to assume I that think it's safe to that light reflect off my glass. I wish I got contacts at an earlier age. I Me too. <laughs> no, it's a regret. Hey guys, thanks for watching this season 2 premiere of Club Penguin 101. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to like and share. You should also check out Lion Laser, Benedict Carl, and Hussein Zadnagarwal's channel. Never knew if I said that right or not. <laughs> but he never corrected me in the comments, so you know, maybe I... Shadow's room, but never happened due to time constraints, I think. <laughs> Came from my ear. <laughs> uh, let's see, should we. Oh, one more. Well, I just want to watch the last video. Uh, the one about <laughs> you promoting <laughs> Always Nintendo and me. Uh, yeah, I don't know it, if anybody here really knows about it. ZJ used to work for this uh, Nintendo. Well, I guess it's more like a, not a Nintendo website, like a Nintendo fan website. You know, they just talked about Nintendo news and everything, like recent Nintendo news going on. Mm -hmm. So he started working with them by making like review, uh, Wii U game reviews mm -hmm. on their YouTube channel. So he wanted me to help promote it on my channel. <laughs> and it only got like, what is it at, 300 views? I should we should see. Hey everybody, it's me. And that chair. Video gaming. Yes, and Nintendo news in general. He does video game reviews for the future. How about we watch some? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Okay, we can watch one. A new game called Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U. You can click just... right here and check it out. That was not as fun though. I'm gonna have a different one. Okay. Let's. Okay, how many views Bye. did this get? <laughs> Two hundred. My guess is three hundred. Hey everybody, it's me, Beefy Pink. Two hundred sixty-three. Okay. And what? Four years. Okay, so yeah, this is something um, I made. <laughs> it Jay sucks. It also says Jay Z. Oh, oops. Jay -Z. Oh, yeah, ZJ's take. Let's just type that in accurately. So that was one thing that was kind of bad about the name ZJ, was because it always J it just goes and assumes Jay Z. Jay's take. So, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't even pop up. Uh, okay, yeah, oh, that's not right. <laughs> The story of OJ. <laughs> oh, oops. Always Nintendo. Always Nintendo Switch. Uh, 
Help support. My <laughs> stuff pop up. No. <laughs> yeah. Another they, video where they got Charles Martinet to. to yeah, that, that was kind of cool. cool. Hey, I made that. I made this. Okay, what's the highlight? You think um, the first one, maybe? Let's see. It's going to go next thing. I thought the maze one was pretty good. Which the one's like the one? so bad it's good? Or like just like the worst, the most cringiest maybe one? Maybe the first one. I think this is the one because I really wanted to do like kind of like those nostalgic Craig anger video game nerd reviews where you, you're mostly having fun with the game, but I also wanted to combine it with uh, an actual review. Yeah. And this is my first one too, so I'm the, it's going to be the worst. There's a lot skinnier well, back then. Gets off bed. The charisma is just oozing. <laughs> I see you guys again. You oh, thanks. Characters. PH Cool 23? The only difference between them is having one or two people. CPI is objectively bad. Spot your opponent will still be a tag team. After selecting tags, see you guys. Bye. 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 Thanks for joining us. Yeah, this is kind of the uh, end party you now. Uh, uh, um, that stinks about CPI. Yeah, I've heard that like it's very limited without a membership. And a bear named Kuma, which is actually bear in Japanese. I have some reliable sources backing me up. Siri, Google Translate. And that's just a few. I mean, we also got Bob and Slim Bob and Farmer King and, um, Regular King. What's up with these names? <laughs> that expression? Oh, I decided to go with Farmer King and Regular King. I thought we also need a tag team name, so together we are the ferocious, the deadly, the cute, cuddly kitty paws. Oh, that's adorable. So basically, you just fight down their team, defeat mm. them, and Pretty. rinse repeat, until you have beaten the arcade mode. There are two to three rounds in each fight. You have to win two in I felt really bad fight. about these it's reviews, because I opponent, don't think that's really what uh, the, always also, Nintendo you needed. You to one of your opponents, but you and your opponent can switch out any time with your tag partner. And I think I got kind of a bit of flack for this. I think I remember reading a form and just like feel like this is stupid. On the topic of Wait, what? <laughs> People are wrong. Oh, uh, yeah, because I think like. I guess that maybe I just the presentation for me, I kind of made it seem a little bit more review esque. You know, they should be a little more professional and, uh, you know, not be. I guess. So funny about the whole, like, you know, not knowing the game. It was more, it wasn't so much that, and, like, that I was trying to, like, actually critique it. I wanted to really try to be funny. <laughs> Did it work out? Sue asks, well, I gotta go soon, but I have a question. Will you stream on this channel some more, maybe make some more videos? Well, first of all, thank you for watching and commenting a bunch. Always appreciate that. Um, I mean, we don't have any plans to stream more, make more videos on this channel. I mean, I kind of just want it after I make that, until next time, beef it up video. I just kind of wanted that to be the end, and just kind of, like, that, like, the final, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but, final resting note. I don't know what you called it, but, yeah, I mean, I feel like if I start making videos again, then it's like, oh, psych, not actually done, but, I don't know, but you know, go. I'm sure we'll still be doing some kind of stuff on yeah. yeah. some other channel. So <laughs> always be on the lookout. Actually, yeah, the hard part is just like with both our schedules, we don't usually see each other too often, and just you know, just we're trying to find like uh, something I'm both passionate about that we can work together on that we we'll both stay engaged with. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's like Mario. Mario. Super Mario series. Move around the stage, and depending on which one you touch, it'll either make you larger or small. Though getting too big will make you unable to hit anything, and being too small means your hits will do pretty much nothing. 
It was a fun change to the regular gameplay, and it felt more than just a gimmick. There is also Fight Lab. It's kind of like a tutorial, but there's a storyline to it. I, think it I remember we were playing this, I was like, this is so very I Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have no idea. There's also a customizable mode. You can customize any of the characters on the roster. I thought it would just be a simple costume change, but there's more to it. For one, you can draw on the characters. I don't know why I found this so intriguing. I guess it just caught me off guard. I'm very simple-minded. Paint it all white. Basically, you just see the ranking for all the characters. And that pretty much covers the game. Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Wii U Edition is an interesting fighting game. It adds in a different mechanic, which is the tag. I haven't played the other console versions, so I can't see how they stacked up compared to the Wii U Edition. Having the Nintendo characters and modes are cool, but nothing worth bragging about. I never got the urge to dive too deep into the game, but I did find it fun for a while. Mostly if you have a second person to play with. Now, allow me to end this review properly. Yeah, there I said review, so that was kind of nice. Did they really like that more? I don't think it actually likes that much. <laughs> well, I really want to hear now, so. But yeah. Oh, I guess it got six legs, so that's not too bad. <laughs> I just want to see because I, I felt kind of like crap. This would feel like someone walked in in the last 30 minutes of Hobbit watching the LO Oil Rings movie beforehand, proceeded to do a review based on the last scene, said so the movie was on. Organized it makes sense. You can't jump into a game from an established series making judgment on its character's plot and gameplay if you're never touched it before. I'm willing to support your videos since I follow your news site, but you need to put a little more work into things. Zach, I look forward to seeing more. <laughs> well, well, you get quite strong opinions. <laughs> and I guess like that was kind of my problem is like that I should have just done a regular review, but I really want to do like where I'd like share my opinion just as like a normal like person i didn't want to want to be like a professional reviewer but yeah, you should come back up on the comments i meant to be more like it just meant to be more like a fun you know like let's make you know make some jokes and whatnot and then also just share make a little jokes, bit of opinion have a few drinks exactly you should uh, uh, scroll up in the comments i saw something that i was gonna reply to but oh sure anyways that was kind of a break from uh whoa whoa <laughs> whoa oh, yeah. i've been trying i was gonna nah I saw my views and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm getting close to 1 million. Now I to make a Twitter post about it, but I'm 2,716 late. Guys, this is, this is fantastic. I have reached, I have surpassed a million total video views on Beefy Penguin 9. Wow. It was, wow. What was the whole count you wanted to see? Um, oh yeah. Will you post on the Nintendo channel thing you have? Okay, I'm feeling very torn about that because we haven't done anything with it in a while, which... I haven't just really had the desire <laughs> to make content on it. Plus, it costs a lot of money. Yeah, that is one of his wallet. That is one of the issues with uh, the beat or the gaming gerbils channel is just like getting new games. They're you know roughly fifty, sixty dollars, and so and as a college student, uh, it's kind of tricky to work in. So know. we were thinking of doing where it would still be focused on Nintendo, but we'd focus on. Just reviewing games from any system, from any year, and whatnot, just so that... Well, one day I have some variety, because there's other games we'd want to talk about, but then, too, just to make it a little more practical to do the channel. Like, I love the idea of focusing on the most recent console and reviewing games for that. It's just... So expensive. If you don't have a budget, it can act up pretty quickly. <laughs> and, um, I mean, lately, I've been really like wanting to make short films, because we've made short films in the mm -hmm. past. We actually made one... This past summer, which I think I, I think it turned out fairly good, but ZJ doesn't really want to make short films, so yeah, we kind of have yeah just... different uh, passions, I guess, or different we have different things we want to make. <laughs> yeah, I just that's like kind of the hard part too is finding something we both can get into and engage with, because that just doesn't work the best. That's kind of one of the reasons why I uh, left BG Pain with Nine when I did, just because. For me, it wasn't it wasn't as fun anymore. So, you know, and I just didn't want to you know drag on with it and make just drag down the channel just because I'm not into it. Um, anyways, uh, I think somebody said they wanted to. You can just hit the down arrow. Oh, there's some stuff here. Uh, bye bye, guys. Great content. Keep it up. Hope your future's bright. Thanks. Cool. <laughs> uh... 
see if I, if I go down, will it? Did I miss something? I don't know. I can't tell if that's not the right thing. Um, technical difficulties. Maybe a special. One million views special. <laughs> Also, happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. It almost is Thanksgiving. It's about three hours until midnight. Uh, do you still get weird looks or people asking you if you were beefy? Um, not really. <laughs> not uh, really? And, on gaming gerbils, I'll still get comments about, like, people asking me what I think about, like, Club Penguin rewritten or Club Penguin Island or anything, but... Other than that, yeah, not much. Well, okay. I, know, I was just trying to catch up on yeah. some of the comments well, I missed. I just missed everything he just said. Can you give me a TLD version? I don't know. What, what have you missed so far? Everybody's saying waddle on. Why? I think, yeah, I think because we're probably getting ready to leave. No, don't <laughs> me. I don't want to be I think wrong. it's really good for us because we've been streaming for just an hour and a half now. Can so. we just, uh, like... Kind of scroll through some of the videos and we pick up some like highlights we want. Yeah, just before we end, we should probably end before we reach two hours. But where do we leave off? The uh, short film? No, always Nintendo is where we left off. Yeah. I was kind of like, yeah, like start at where we left off and scroll upwards. I just want to kind of see. <laughs> a lot. Uh, where do we? Where's the? We probably need to scroll down some more. I want you to tell me. That was a terrible thumbnail. There we go. Okay. Yeah, tipping the uh, I can skip that. CD review. There's our first actual oh, channel trailer. I will watch that. It's kind of a nice little, like, mesh of everything. Hey, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Beefy Penguin 9. Oh, Wizard Cat told, us, told everyone to say wall. Stop. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you guys aren't leaving. active now okay probably well your best bet oh actually you should go and subscribe if you aren't subscribed is gaming gerbils which we haven't been active in a few months now but if we are gonna post something it'll be there yeah um yeah that's pretty much it we actually have a second channel which probably not too many people know about called vamped productions is where we post our short films, which there's only one short film there right now, which is probably how it will be for a while. But, well, I had this idea, like, make this kind of second channel, so... Because this was after we made the first short film we made uh, during the summer, which I, like, I don't know why, but I just, like, really wanted to make a channel for our short films. And, like, the name we go by is Vant Productions whenever we make short films. I was like, you know, we can just, like, post whatever short films we make, you know, you know when we make them over the years, and then... Yeah, I don't know how that's actually going to turn out, because we haven't made any short films in a while, and I don't know if we will, but... Yeah. Although, I would like to. <laughs> yeah. Um, he says he just made soup. Nice. Can I had I? soup today, too. It was very good. Okay. Anyways, I think we've been streaming for no. over an hour and a half I now, can't say so... Goodbye oh. yet. Let's just. I, think, I just want to look at a few more things quick. <laughs> uh, we don't need to watch that. Okay, shall we watch it? If you want it, go for it. Let's just let's just look at some of the all the videos. Then it's a bunch of clothes. <laughs> Rookie kids. I like this video. <laughs> hey, Rookie. Hey, Rookie. You're ruining the moment. Watch this. Okay, what is it? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's just like I remember I like I watched that one day a few years ago and I just cannot stop laughing. I don't know why even. I don't I just it was great. You killed Ricky. Sue why? says we should get back in contact with CP World and maybe make Maybe other CP YouTubers you've networked with may become friends with CPR YouTubers. Okay, does CP World still make videos? Because I haven't actually, like, kept up with him at all. So I don't... Like, does he still make videos? I remember there was, like, a while where there were no videos for a few months. So I kind of thought he just kind of died off. But... <laughs> died off. I should probably check. That's not a bad idea. I don't... You did. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, yes, I was wondering was. what happened to that one club, Penguin Clothes. I heard about that. Like, what <laughs> happened to the YouTube community? Yeah. Very sad update. That was an April Fool's joke, yeah, which a lot um, of people took seriously, which probably wasn't the best. Yeah, like, I know some people, like, put April Fool's in it, but then I always feel like that ruins it. Like, it's kind of like telling somebody you're going to prank them and then doing the prank, you know? Oh, he's yeah. April Fool's. Yeah. yeah. Suddenly oh, added in, like, yeah. It was, we played it up too much. <laughs> what are some other key highlights? Uh, this video got a lot of views too, though, which I mean, always a good thing. Oh, PG, it's the next day. This account is still here. I see all those videos. I'm subscribed. I hope this is April Fool's prank. It's really hard to tell this is real or fake. I'm towards fake. Yep. Is it true? Because I heard Happy April Fool's Day. So sad. Well, no! Two years later, it really becomes real. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's kind of sad. Uh, oh, yeah, we started a series called Tip Tube somewhere in here. I don't oh, know. don't watch those. Those are the worst advice our... over here. <laughs> I love our green screen because it looks so bad. <laughs> I love stuff that doesn't look good. Um, uh, what else? We did a Christmas giveaway. I remember that. That it turned out fine. <laughs> oh, I started up another series called Pick and Play, where I pick a game I've never played before and well, play it. That was what I I always said it just like that whenever I was explaining the series for some reason. Well, go, go back, Dan. You're going too fast for me here, buddy. But that was two episodes, and then I just stopped, and it didn't seem to. 350 views about for each. Okay. And then season three started. See, I feel like starting at season three was starting, like, starting the downfall of Beefy Penguin 9. Yeah. I get it. Like, just not as many people were watching anymore, or it just didn't seem to be growing as fast, so. Yeah, that was kind of. Oh, 1,000 subscribers special stop motion. That was that was a joyous occasion. <laughs> so then the same year we got up to two thousand, which was pretty impressive. But see, and then after that, it took, I think like a year or a, over a year to get to three thousand, which I think just kind of showed that. Yeah, I think it was, it was just not, we didn't adapt enough. Yeah, and we were just kind of doing the same thing. It got kind of old. Oh, I, oh, I well, think that's true about a lot of YouTubers, though. They, you know, they do the same stuff. Yeah, and we had like a bunch of different kinds of videos in between. Yeah, I think it was just a uh, difference between what people kind of were looking for. That's why, I, like, I kind of I cringe with a lot of the spinoff stuff we did because it's like this is a Club Penguin themed channel. <laughs> oh, we're doing like all this, doing Nintendo stuff. That's like you and our backgrounds. I kind of like, oh man, I wish we would I would have taken it down because like the yeah. posters or put something else up because it's like it doesn't quite fit with what we're doing. <laughs> See ya, Gizmo, Wexler. Thanks for watching. Probably not going to miss much. I don't know if maybe you've already left, but probably going to end soon, just for all of you who are watching. Season 3 plus was where the quality went up, but the views went down. Yeah, that's kind of true. Okay, actually, Season 3, I did not 
it was probably actually my least favorite season just because of the background. It was just a white background. And yeah. I remember sometimes the lighting just did not look good. So I was like, ugh. I do, to this day, I just do not like season three really that much. Yeah, we well, It's probably my least favorite season. Trial and error with the lighting. <laughs> That's when we moved into our new studio. So it's going to be an upgrade in quality. No. <laughs> Let's be real here. No. Uh, oh yeah, there's where we did our first live stream. That was fun. Good mm -hmm. memories, good memories. <laughs> so my sister and I, we had this YouTube channel where we talked about books. It was a book YouTube channel. And there, in like the booktube community, there's these things called tags where it's like around a theme. There's these questions kind of centered around a theme. So I was like, hey, I can like try that, but on Club Penguin. I don't think it ever really caught on, but it was worth a shot. <laughs> How to make a live stream on YouTube, I... most viewed video. Okay, I am so cringy in that video. It is not okay. Our green screen, I think, is fine, but it is. We talk so fast, apparently, which I don't think I talk that fast. But I guess if you're trying to like understand yeah. something, then it's we are talking way too fast, and I just look so cringy and I sound awful. And for some reason, out of all the videos, that has to be the one that gets the most views. Like, I was looking through some other TipTube videos, and I look a lot better in them, but those ones did not do as good. I think at least our advice in that TipTube video was, like, uh, somewhat accurate. <laughs> because it, was, it wasn't just so much, like, a lot of them were more opinionated, like, you know, this is how you bring attention to your videos, or whatnot, and so, and it's just, like, the worst advice. At least this was more, like, there is a right or wrong way, there's no, like, in between, yeah. thankfully. So either it works or it doesn't. Let's see, is this Club Penguin Season 3 still? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. YouTube Community Spotlight, always highlighted. I like doing that. I think it would have would have changed it to just having it like at the end of like a Club Penguin 101, because... Yeah, always made... I mean, like... a separate video. Yeah. Because for people, yeah, they want to watch the... Like Club Penguin 101, they don't want to really want to see these kind of like spin-off videos so much. Yeah. Or at least won't, it wasn't you know, the most popular of my videos. <laughs> yeah, it won't get as much traction as if it would on uh, like a Club Penguin 101 video, so I wish you would have done that, but oh well. I didn't like Hopefully how we ended it, though. People. We just kind of like just stopped making it, which I kind of wish we actually like kind of had some closure with it, but we yeah. did, like a lot of things. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, no. We missed a very momentous occasion back somewhere. Where was it? Where was it? I'm gonna find it. Where is it? There it is. We wish you a Merry Well. It's my first collaboration video with Artistalman. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's still active though, but that was pretty cool. It was. Actually working with him. You need to work with somebody YouTube else on a bit. I mean, yeah, you always see other YouTubers do, but I've like, never done that before, so that was pretty cool. It worked well for the most part, I would say. Yeah, well, should we wrap things up now? Oh, I just like, I just <laughs> Well, while well, most beats on, I just want to get through the rest of these quick. Gotta relive all of it. <laughs> uh, and I worked with Spikey, 2007. That was also pretty cool. I don't know if he's still active or not. I don't, I don't really see much from him lately. Um. Oh, yeah. Okay, so then TipTube ended at 11 seasons, and then we never <laughs> renewed uh, that. So it's... Oh yeah, this was really cool. I remember we got an email from the Parrot, is a company that makes you know, drones and everything, and they're talking about, like, we'll send you this mini drone to review for free, and that was, like, really cool, because, you know, you always see, like, uh, video game channels, you know, get games for free to review, mm -hmm. and I was like, whoa, I'm, like, one of them now. Oh. So, yeah, that was really cool. That was, that. That was cool. Oh. Well, didn't get that many views, but just making sure. I'm like really seeing sure. yeah. <laughs> So, um, well, season four started. Yep. I saw a cone. Season four is where the quality went upper and the views went downer. Yeah. That's true. Season four, I thought the set looked a lot better, a lot more cool, a lot more club penguin. Yeah. I like but that. But yeah, there's not as peop many people are watching. Um, so yeah, that was, that was cool. And you should yeah. scroll up. Oh, that's when we reached 50 episodes of Club Pin 101. That was pretty fun. 
Cooking with, with beefy. beefy. <laughs> There's this one YouTuber who did, he does video game reviews, and then he did these, like, two spin-off videos where he uses, like, cooking food, and <laughs> we wanted to do that, too. <laughs> At least it kind of fits, it's called penguin-themed. Yeah, it's like I remember, yeah, I did, uh, one of the episodes was this <laughs> recipe I, I got from the website, the actual Club Penguin website, which I actually made quite a few times. Bye, Super Mario Ryan. Thanks for watching. I just want to see this. Cause this is like the, the odd box stop. Motion. We want to make a stop motion because it's been it would have been forever. So like, we'll just make this. Hamster. I like how he's like violently eating it too. Well, that was odd. Yeah, that was a weird stop motion. Yeah. Very. <laughs> what could possibly happen? I don't know. Is it loading that different? No. What did it go back? Don't we don't want to watch this. <laughs> 1800 views though, not bad. I think yeah, I remember that getting more views than I thought it was going to. Because like, our stop motions usually never got as many views as like Club Hill 101 did. Yeah. So I was kind of surprised by that. Um... Oh yeah, and then we reached 2,000. Oh, <laughs> my website. <laughs> that could have gone better. <laughs> yep. Oh uh, well. It was, was a fun little, like, just trying something new. Yeah. Not that many people actually went on it. That was kind of disappointing. Oh, well, because I like Club Penguin Space. I was like, oh, this is so cool. Like, Club Penguin Block, I want to do that. And I did do it. For better, for worse. <laughs> oh, yeah, five, five anniversary. Fifth year anniversary. That was that was a milestone. Yeah, yeah. Well, Just yeah, the beefy more. plays. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to do a, yeah, a series about me playing the... PSA missions, which we, again, started and then never finished. Whoops. So basically just add ones. And then, yeah, so this is still season four, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I liked season four. Season four is one of my favorites. I think season one, two, and four were, I think, my favorites out of all the seasons. Oh, yeah. Okay, see, this is kind of what really kind of hit Beefy Penguin 9 hard as the channel, so after looking back at 2015 video, there's like a huge gap in between making videos, so the next thing I upload, I started a Beefy gaming channel, again, this started that, here. and that kind of just died, sad times, I know, but then yeah, then after the Beefy's Game Corner video, there's another huge gap, but no videos, and then after the Beefy and DJ react to Old Club Penguin Game Day, there's a huge gap. And then we finally upload the Season 5 promo. But then there's like a three week gap before the episode of uh, Season 1 of Season... <laughs> episode 1 of Season 5 actually came out, so I think that really hurt the channel because, you know, it's not that many videos. Yeah. Oh. And then, yeah, then for a while it's just Club Penguin 101. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, we just didn't have that much time anymore. Yeah. Like, I was always so. a lot busier, so I just couldn't work on it that much. Didn't have that much time. <laughs> Club Penguin yearbook. When somebody spooked CP, yearbook was my fave. I'm glad you liked it. It was a lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work. A lot of... A lot of editing. Lot 24. Of... Okay. Did anybody actually watch that whole thing? Because, honestly, I would be impressed. <laughs> because I was watching that, and... I had a trouble finishing it because of, I thought it just got really boring because it was always like the same thing over and over. So I'm glad you liked it. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm glad people did like it, but personally, I don't, I thought it was like a cool idea, but I don't know. I just feel like it got kind of stale after a while. Yeah. And we got to the, the conclusion of Beef Penguin. Oh, wait, but before the conclusion... Robot Malfunction Remastered. Yeah. See, I don't know how many people watching now. And we had an old stop motion series called The Robot Malfunction, which, for some reason, I love it a lot. ZJ, not as much. I'm like, 
I don't. I think you brought it up. Like you were like, oh, that'd be cool if like we remastered and everything. I'm like, yeah, we should do that. And so I was like, oh, let, let's refilm all of it and then like you make edits to the script. So we did, and it took quite a few yeah. months. Yeah, but we finished it. Oh, so that's the final stop motion we did. Seven minutes, thirty-eight seconds. But I'm proud of it. Nice. Plot doesn't always make sense. But, yeah. You know that's okay. You know that that is all right. And then season five also had the seventy-fifth episode. Clip in one hundred and one. Yeah. And then that, you know, just a few more episodes, and then that was pretty much the end. And we got to the end of it. Oh, that's kind of sad. Although, I really, I really liked the last video. I'm Good proud day. of that. Good way of I like how it came out. And then we started gaming gerbils, which... <laughs> we'll see where that goes. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, that was fun. Yeah, I've been streaming for close to two hours now, wow. so... I think we should call it a night. <laughs> Probably a good idea. But yeah, that was fun yeah. going through it all. Yeah, just, uh, just taking a little trip. We were just watching the videos anyhow, so, you know, why not share it with you guys? The uh, people who kind of helped us keep going with it, because obviously, I don't know how long we could have gone without, you know, not that, you know, it's all about getting, you know, people to watch, but it's still part of the. Part of the excitement comes from yeah, getting yeah. the feedback from you guys and just knowing somebody else is getting enjoyment from this and that the time and effort you're putting in is paying off. So yeah. We really appreciate that. And thanks everyone for who decided to come in and watch. Uh, we just kind of threw this up and I was wondering how many people actually would. But, you know, thanks for everyone who's commenting all the way through. And yeah, it's actually a lot better active. return than I thought. Yeah. I wasn't really sure because, you know, I haven't done anything at the channel in months now. So seven months for... Our last video that we upload on this channel. Yeah, so. so. I mean, we only got like 10 people, but you know. Yeah. I think that's all you need. Especially with such great commenters. Thank you for all your comments. That's what helped keep the live stream alive. Absolutely. So, that was that was pretty fun. So, yeah. Just a suggestion. If you're not subscribed to Gaming Gerbils, you should do that. That's where you'll find us. But... Other than that, I think that's all I have to say. So, for everyone who's celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow, yeah, have, a, have a good one.